Oh, yeah, first thing first. Um, I just had came came across this or looking on my Twitter feed, and I happened to uh, came across this. Well, I seen it on Instagram by one of my subs, and the article came up. And now, now this is gonna get something for coons and sambos like Ray Lewis, uh, Stephen A. Snake, and I hate using the term snake, more like Stephen A. Worm. That fat, pudgy, oversized man, fedora wearing manatee, and all the other haters are really gonna be upset. As you can see, there's my man, my brother, Colin, Colin Kaepernick, on the front cover of GQ magazine, Citizen of the Year. Shoot, last year he, he made Time magazine, made the cover of Time magazine. Well, as you well know, the haters are going to come out. And, you know, like I say, they they going to try to go ahead and throw shade and stuff like that. Not just besides the racist crackers, you know. A cracker going to be a cracker no matter what. A cracker is a cracker is a cracker is a peck of wood. That's just, that's just the bottom line when it comes down to that. But congratulations goes out to Colin Kaepernick. But let me just show you some other stuff, what he's... um recently have been doing you know while doing the spare time with his, with everything he's been doing because I do believe this was right in New York this was a very beautiful photo and th these are recent people these are recent you know it sort of reminds me the same way of Muhammad Ali you know where he had nothing but the love of most of his people left. And as you can see, you even got some other kids who basically, um, who are classified as Latino. And so, like, they were classified as Hispanic. But that's a good thing, too, because, yeah, that's, they got, Af they got the African blood in them, too, as well. So, you know, despite some of them that want to try to pass of being Caucasian, if you listening up, Anna Navarro, dumb bitch, but this is about Kaepernick, you know. Despite all of what's going on in the world with, with the orangut with Hobgoblin 45 and all this other stuff, like I say, uh, me and my brother Blue Pill has said, man, Cap got that got that Christ energy, man. You know, Scorpio, wet number seven, shoot. He's looking more and more like a more. Real talk. Here's another one. Now, which is like that, because I, I love it with the with the with the children. You know. He understands that the babies, these are they the future. You know, sort of like the same thing. It, it's more powerful if when Cap does it. I've seen it when LeBron done it, done it, but this is more powerful when he does it. Now, as for my female lady subs, hold on to your knickers as I'm about to show you what I'm about to show you. Now you can go ahead, you can take a screenshot of this if you like, ladies. And to all the naysayers, all the idiots that's in the NFL that, oh, well, well, he it's his diet. Uh he ain't a he's a vegan. He ain't strong enough. He he ain't in shape. Well, um Looks like he in shape to me. By the way, I love the ink. Love it. Love it. You know what I'm saying? Not bad for a 30 year old. You know. And I give props for props too. You know what I'm saying? Cap been telling y'all since March, man. He been working out every day. And so on and so forth. But we already know that these Pecklewoods owners are all in cahoots with each other to, to keep him out the league. Because 
but the influence they still stand for, you know, guys like Eric Reed, Malcolm Jenkins, uh, Michael Bennett, and uh, Chris Law, all those guys, they, they still protest the national anthem. They still, and while they're there, so they're still holding it down. Now, the other, other picture I saw, Eric Reed taking the knee, but wasn't Eli Harrell, who wears number 57, linebacker? He was taking the knee with Cap last year, too. Now, all of a sudden, he's not doing it. I'm like, dude, what's up with that? You know, but that's a whole nother story for a whole nother thing. So, this is why I say don't get out there, don't believe the hype, don't do anything like that. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, because we're we gonna get out here, we're gonna bring the real on that. Because nobody is not gonna smear Colin Kaepernick's name in the mud through social media and all that. Not as long as I'm around, not as long, not on my watch, definitely not on Tari and Rain's watch, definitely not on Ticket's watch. One LVZ, Town Biz, Black Reality TV, um, <clears throat> Professor Truth, Jason Black, um, everybody else that I, I could think of who basically would have from Jump. You know, B09263, my brother there, my brother's Quest X, uh, Dream Chaser Boxing, you know, because see, it's some, it's some of these so called black YouTubers that they only want to touch on it regarding Kaepernick if it's involving gossip. And nobody ain't got time for that. We got work out here to do. Y'all keep, the ones who are doing that, keep on playing around. This ain't no damn game. You know? But I am so proud of Colin Kaepernick, man. I, I can't say how many times I keep on saying this. I'm so proud of him. Sure. I mean, the cover of him making a GQ magazine, the throw all out. I mean, dude, that that's 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 powerful. A little mock turtleneck. Um, I, I like it. I love it. I mean, like, shoot, look at the icy stare. You know, the Pearson stare. Definitely a Scorpio. Definitely. So, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and run this run this through and all that. You know, um, let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section. You know, you go ahead, share, subscribe. Uh, click the notification bell so when I upload new videos, you get it. And also, uh, you can also donate to my PayPal account. Your donations are greatly appreciated as I continue to go ahead and bring you new videos on new things. To basically um, keep you keep you woke and to have you use critical thinking and also reinstitute common sense, unfortunately, which is not common these days. So with that said, uh, peace and love, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And I'll see y'all on the next rebound. No more talk. I'm done.